Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. Let's look at an easy way to simplify expressions involving the imaginary number i. First though, let's do a quick review of how your TI Inspire CX handheld observes imaginary numbers. First, the i is in the pi key menu. You can square it, cube it, raise it to the fourth, or even larger powers. And the result will be in a simplified form. Got it? Good. Now, let's look at an example of something that you might see on your exam. Let's simplify these expressions. Just key in the expression, 7i minus 4. Remember, the i is in the pi. minus 5i minus 7. And enter to get 7i minus 4 minus 5i minus 7 simplifies to 3 plus 2i. Excellent! Let's try another. 7i plus 2 times 3i minus 8. Plug it in. and enter. Could it be any simpler? Wonderful. Let's try another, a little more complex. Press Control and the fraction template. It's the blue command over the division key. Put in your numerator, then arrow down to plug in the denominator. Finish the expression. Press Enter. And voila. Okay, that was quick and easy. And there you have it. You can use these steps to simplify expressions you'll see on your exams, which will save you time and help you avoid mistakes. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for Test Success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.